Hello thank you guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to our monthly vlog. I hope everyone is doing well. It has been a whirlwind of a July for me personally. We're getting through it, powering through, um, but it has been a bit of a weird month for me. I hope it's been better for you guys. Um, what have I gotten up to this month? First and foremost, get the elephant out of the room, there is a cat scratchy on the bed behind me, there's a new litter box behind me, and there is a certain little someone crunching his food back there somewhere. He's, he'll probably jump up on the bed at some point during the vlog. I have adopted a new cat. Um, Tiger passed away in early May, I think, and I knew pretty early on that, you know, I will never find another tiger. Absolutely not. He was such a weird cat. <laughs> Um, but I knew that I wanted to adopt someone new. I didn't know how old they'd be. I didn't know what color they'd be. I just knew I wanted a little boy, uh, and that's what I got. I got a little Oliver. Um, that was not his name initially. <laughs> I'm not going to say his uh, original name out loud in case he still answers to that. He's still learning Oliver. Um, but he is a little orange and white striped tabby. He's two years old, and he came from a situation where he had fallen off a balcony. And um, previous owners had surrendered him, he got his leg fixed, but he's still limping. Uh, in some pictures you'll be able to see he has um, his left leg shaved. Um, that's actually my right, but either way it doesn't matter. Um, he's getting along just fine though, he's putting a lot more pressure on that leg, he's been exploring absolutely everything in my room. He is so curious and inquisitive anytime anything new comes in. He needs to check it out and he needs to check it out thoroughly and if you don't let him check it out, gets upset. That also includes human food, I'm learning. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's a little character. He is probably one of the only good things I can easily say that's happened to me in the last couple months. I am over the moon to finally have him. I've been, you know, speaking with various uh, humane societies, cat rescues, whatever, for like the last month or two, and I wasn't getting any uh, leads anywhere, or I was, and then they'd already been adopted most of the time, so um, you have to act fast, apparently. <laughs> I, I hadn't actually adopted myself before. I had, Our family had, but I had never been the one doing it, so um, it was an experience. It was an experience. He has been here, uh, I think, exactly one week yesterday is when I brought him home, and he's doing very well. He, he met Mike that was on stream. He loved him. It was amazing. Uh, Mike absolutely adores him, and I think I couldn't have asked for a better fit. He has not met my other cats yet. I have two others. I have Tika and Kiara, and they are both very, very sassy females, <laughs> and he's... I don't know how they're gonna re Oh, there he is. <laughs> I don't know how he's gonna be received by them, but I'm hoping it's gonna be good. We're doing a very slow introduction. They have He hasn't left this room yet, pretty much. Um, he has everything he needs in here, and then eventually I'll open up my bedroom door and we'll start very slow introductions, because if you have cats, you probably know adult cats can be a little bit funny about meeting other adult cats in general, so even kittens as well. Um, let's just put it this way, cats in general are weird. <laughs> um, so that's the really big thing that happened to me. That was only last week, of course, um, and we're still getting used to each other. And you've Probably had lots of pictures plastered up around my face <laughs> by now, knowing me. Um, what else? We finished Spyro the Reignited Trilogy um, last week, which was fun. Oh, he's going to climb up by the window. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping he'd jump up on the bed, but uh, maybe not today. Um, yeah, we finished Spyro the Reignited Trilogy, which was such an amazing experience. I think I kind of got a couple other people who have been on the fence to give it a try and they've all been enjoying it, which is amazing. Uh, I had people in there who have played the games time and time again, or 100% of them, and know those games, so uh, that made a huge difference and it allowed me to get through a little bit more easily through something that I never thought I would ever be able to beat, even though it's like a... I wouldn't call it a kid's game, but like, you know, it's not Dark Souls or anything. <laughs> For me it was. I'm not good at platforming, so... Um, yeah, we went, ooh, talking. It went pretty well. <laughs> um, it was a lot of fun. The game style is adorable. It's very colorful. And um, my schedule, now that that has finished, is changing a little bit. So I should probably bring that up. Um, I have been working um, 
And by when I say working, I mean streaming. <laughs> Pretty much every single day for the last year. Um, every now and then, if I was sick or if I just needed a day, I would take a day. Or a couple, like last month, I had my first week off ever. <laughs> um, but I, I didn't have a day off every week. I didn't have a weekend. Ever. Um, now I have one. It's one day. <laughs> but it's something. Uh, so every Friday, I won't be streaming. Um, and this is also good because that's the day Mike is here, so I can spend time with him uh, and not be working for a good chunk of our day together, which is what I had been doing. Um, and it also gives me just a little bit of a break. My voice in particular gets very worn out talking so much. I'm just a quiet person. <laughs> I don't talk a whole heck of a lot normally, so um, that'll be probably really good. Um, but otherwise, what that means is Normally, on Fridays, I'm streaming Lumos, which is our Wizarding World-themed town, but now that's going to be on Thursdays, since Spyro is finished and that was what was on Thursdays. Um, which, by the way, shameless self-plug. <laughs> if you guys don't already know, I know there's so many people who come in and be like, I didn't even know you streamed on Twitch, but it's at the beginning of all my videos. <laughs> Somehow people miss it. Um, which, no shame if you did, I'm, I'm the same, I look over stuff like that. Uh, I do stream on Twitch, and I am Eastern every day but Friday. Uh, I have my schedule down below in every single one of my videos so you can see what I'm actually going to be playing this current week of this video upload. If you're watching this in a year, obviously I'm not probably still playing some of those games. I play Animal Crossing mainly, so um, yeah. Um, speaking of Animal Crossing, man, the amount of comments I've been getting recently, and I do read YouTube comments, I've not been replying back as much. I find the comment section has been an interesting place recently. Um, just in general, not even on my own channel. Um, but I guess we all we all knew that, right? <laughs> um, I've been getting a lot of comments saying that I should go back and play ACN or ACN8, ACNL. Sorry, they shouldn't have made the names so close together. Anyway, um, people have been saying I should go back and play New Leaf, and I'm so curious as to why. Most of the time when I ask, people are like, "Oh, it's because I don't have New Horizon yet," and that's fine. But like. I feel like on my channel I've covered everything to do with Animal Crossing New Leaf. I did all the guides. I did two, three, I think three or four playthroughs. Consider that three or four. I know I did Memory, which was streamed, Calico, which was not. Um, I also played through Rose Wolf, which was kind of streamed, kind of not. There's three at least. And also kind of Rosewood, but not really. That was kind of my private town, but I did stream it a little bit here and there. Um, and like, I did everything. <laughs> I got all the villagers I wanted, got all the public works projects, unlocked all of Main Street. I finished the museum, which was the very first time I ever did that in memory, which was fun. And like, I just don't know what else people want to see. If you guys want to leave a comment down below, feel more than free. I am, I will go back to New Leaf at some point. People keep asking when. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that I burnt myself out on it hardcore with Calico. Uh, as much as I loved Calico, I probably shouldn't have done that because, like, I just don't want to go back right now at all. <laughs> um, but I will eventually go back. We're going to be doing our Throwback Thursday series. I've not decided if that's going to be streamed or YouTube or, like, you know, purely one or the other or both. Um, at the moment, I love streaming. I absolutely adore it. I prefer having people to talk to versus just talking to myself. <laughs> um, it is so much easier uh, and just a lot of fun in general and spontaneous as well. Like, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. I can't edit out mistakes. Like, you know, it's fun. Um, but that's definitely something I am thinking about because you guys have been <laughs> definitely hammering it in there that you want to see more. So I am open to it. I'm willing. I just want to know, you know, why? What is there still that you want me to do? answer down below. <laughs> um, other than that, we have started Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. If you guys don't know, that game is uh, a remake of Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town, which is on the Game Boy Advance. That was a game from my childhood. It's actually my second favorite Harvest Moon game ever. <laughs> um, so playing through the remake or remaster or whatever you want to call it has been amazing. I've been playing through that on Steam or stream? On stream. It's also available on Steam, <laughs> but I'm playing through it on Switch. 
and we're playing together every Wednesday. That's actually what I'm going to be streaming today as of filming. I don't know when this is going to be uploaded. Um, and it is such a fun game and people have been really enjoying it. Apparently people really like watching me play Stardew Harvest Moon-esque games and I'm all for that because I love playing them. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing more of that. Um, I've kind of considered doing some guides for it, but honestly, I don't know how many people would be interested in that. So I, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's just been, it's almost like a blast in the past, but like with a fresh coat of paint, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, what else have we done? I've been playing through Lumos and Lily Bell. Both of those towns are fantastic. We've been enjoying the new Dream Suite updates. Dream Suite, that's the thing that's new. <laughs> uh, we've brought back Slumber Party Sundays or visiting your dream towns if you're a little bit more old school. Um, and it's been amazing. It has been fantastic visiting people's towns again. It's been fantastic kind of getting getting back into that rhythm. Uh, if you guys have not already checked out the videos, what I'm doing is I streamed this past Sunday and I visited 12 towns in that stream. And what I'm doing is I'm splitting up these towns into videos but it's two towns per video right now so um i think the first four four towns are out right now that was three <laughs> um and yeah it's a little bit slower to upload and do it that way but i feel like it is a lot more easier to watch and i don't know it gives people a little bit more spotlight right like because that was the whole point from the very beginning is i'm visiting your guys's towns um so that was fun um and if you guys on YouTube who are not able to check out the streams would like to be included in that. There is a link in the Slumber Town or Slumber Party video descriptions uh, for you to enter your dream address if you would like to do that because I will be visiting everyone. Uh, eventually it'll just take some time because <laughs> there's a lot more of you than there are of me and only so much time in the day, especially on Sundays. Um, so it has been amazing. It's been fun. I'm glad to see people are excited that I've been bringing that back. Um, what else? What else? I think those are honestly the main things. It has been kind of a weird month for me. I've been kind of withdrawing from a lot of stuff and just taking some time for my own mental health, which I think is very important. Um, something I've been kind of coming to terms with is, you know, yes, I stream on a schedule. I stream, you know, every day but Friday now, and I start always at 10 a.m. Eastern, but I think the thing that's important for me is realizing, you know, if I'm having an off day, um, it's important for me to not try to push out five hours of content in a stream and just be like, okay, I think I'm done for today. Even if I've only streamed for like two hours, right? Um, and I think that's something I'm gonna have to get used to doing. <laughs> um, just cause it's, it's been kind of a rough time. It's been kind of a rough time. Um, ooh, the other thing we did that was new this month, we've done a lot of new stuff, I just realized. Um, Maybe that's why I'm so uncertain, is because I don't like change. <laughs> um, we held the first ever Sleepy Press Fest that didn't focus on a game. Um, if you guys are maybe newer here, we do have a Discord. Link is in the description. We are family friendly, so keep it family friendly in there. But otherwise, um, we usually do an end of month Simply Press Fest, which is kind of playing off of Splatoon Splatfest where we split off into two themed teams who were going head to head to decide which one is better. So like Coke versus Pepsi, for example, was I think our very first one, I believe. Maybe, <laughs> it was one of the early ones. And um, usually we'll play like Mario Kart or Splatoon or something, right? And then at the end of X number of battles, X number of races, we'll see which team came out on top. Uh, this month, instead of doing a game, um, we did a trivia night, which was actually really fun. It was my very first time doing anything like that, but pretty much we were Team Disney versus Team Nintendo, and we had Nintendo and Disney themed questions for uh, everyone to answer. And it was a lot of fun. I was very surprised at some stuff that people knew, surprised at what people didn't know, and it was just overall like a really good time. And it also was fantastic because it let people in who might not have Splatoon or Mario Kart or whatever it would be that we were playing, right? Um, so I'd love to do, you know, more of stuff like that in the future, but it probably won't be every single fest. Um, but yeah, if you guys like would like to join in with that, it is a whole heck of a lot of fun. It's just kind of another way for me to say thank you for 
my subscribers on Twitch who are helping to financially support me. Um, shameless self plug once again, actually very shameful because I don't like talking about it, but I do have a Patreon. It's there. I post some stuff on it occasionally for people. Um, it's another way to help financially support me. It's not something I really like going into because I feel kind of bad about it. I try my best to put stuff in there and hope that it like is enough for people, if that makes much sense. Um, but I'm still struggling with stuff to make people enjoy it, I guess. It's a really bad advertisement, but like, <laughs> I have to be honest. I have to be honest with people. Um, you know, I would probably be in a much better financial position if I hadn't quit my job and if I wasn't doing this, but I love doing it. So, and it makes other people happy. My other jobs didn't make people happy. They made people upset. So I don't really enjoy that. <laughs> um, doing something that makes people happy is absolutely what I want to be involved in. So, um, and even more so than that, you know, um, like numbers and stuff. I've had a couple people being like, oh, like, you know, your channel is kind of dying. And I'm like, I don't post ACNL anymore, <laughs> pretty much. But like, the numbers aren't ever really my driving force. Like, yeah, we'll celebrate if we hit like a milestone because that's what people want to do. But it's never really been something that I really want to look at too much. I find myself getting anxious if I do. So I tend to avoid looking at it. Um, same thing on Twitch, actually. Um, but as long as people are enjoying what I do, that's the most important part. Earning a living is also kind of important, but it's not as important at the moment, thankfully. <laughs> um, I'm very lucky to be in the situation that I'm in, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to eventually save up and uh, get out on my own <laughs> and have my own space. Uh, maybe eventually we'll see. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about today. I'm forgetting something I always do. Can't remember. Oliver's sitting on my desk, by the way. I know you can't see him, but he is there. He is, um, he's been very interested in my mouse wire, so he's trying to, like, bat at it. Um, I'm gonna keep that away from him in case he clicks it by accident. <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you are still here, I do much appreciate it, because I've been rambling for, like, 18 minutes, give or take. Um, I appreciate you guys who watch the YouTube videos, maybe never comment. Those who comment, those who lurk in the streams, those who chat in the streams, those who are subscribed, those who are not, those who are patrons, those who are not anyone. As long as you are here and you are friendly, I appreciate you. Um, I really do. I hope you guys have an absolutely... Oh, and I appreciate my mods too. I should probably throw that in there. They don't hear that enough from me, I think. I need to say that a little bit more. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing August. I'm sorry my vlog is a little bit late again this month, but I wanted to let Oliver settle in before I started streaming. I still haven't even brought up my green screen for him to see. I'm scared he's going to be, like, angry or nervous about it and he might attack it, but we'll see. Um, that's going to be a hurdle we jump over eventually. <laughs> um, yeah. That's about it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it today. I hope you continue to enjoy the content. I'm trying my best. And again, let me know about ACNL down below. Let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see. We can make something happen, maybe. If I get enough inspiration, maybe. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.